right? So, what are the elements that you could put in your speech to wow your audience? First, the process of preparing food in either fast food restaurant or in upscale restaurants, basically they are the same. You wash, you cut, you dice, you steam, you pan fry, or you bake. But then on top of the basic requirements, you have to add in a lot more elements to come up with a gourmet food, right? The same token. For speeches, either you have to use the same fundamental techniques and process to come up with a, uh, a speech. But then for contest quality speech, you have to add in a lot more on top of the basic requirements. So today, I would like to share with you seven elements that you should pay attention to when you are preparing a speech for the contest. Now, the list is not exhaustive, of course, but I think it should be enough. First, pay attention to the theme. Right? Now, fast food restaurant, do you think they have a theme? Most likely, no. Well, the local cha chan tem, they probably have everything you need. Uh, rice, noodles, spaghetti, steak, and sandwiches, and everything in between. But they have no specialty for upscale restaurants. Most likely, they'll have a specialty or a theme. Like, say, for example, Chinese cuisine, authentic Chinese cuisine, or authentic Japanese cuisine, or any other cuisines. In Hong Kong, you'll notice that we have a lot of seafood restaurants. That's because Hong Kong people love to eat seafood. And that's why these restaurants cater to the taste of the potential customers. For the same token, we have to have a theme for our speeches. Ordinary speeches, a lot of times, make three kinds of mistakes in the area of choosing a theme. First, either they don't have a theme, or the theme is not focused enough. A lot of speakers get out on the stage without knowing what they are supposed to say. They just tap on something, right? They just keep circling and circling without a theme. Some speakers, although they have a theme, but it's not focused. They have bits and pieces of different things within the speech. Why do they do that? Well, probably they have unconsciously branched off to a different subtopic. They do not know. They are not, they are not, they are not aware of that. That's one mistake. The second mistake is you choose the wrong theme for your target audience. If you are going to deliver a speech to, say, an audience that's made up of fellow students like you, would you deliver a speech, say, for example, on war, retirement, AIDS? Probably. But that's not the most suitable topic for the group, right? So choose the right theme for the audience. The third mistake that a lot of people make is they choose a topic that's too common, too broad, too shallow. Let me give you an illustration. I've heard of a speech given by a student, and she talked about a very common topic, water. All of us know what the, the, the subject matter very well, right? Water. And in her speech, she sounds like she's, she was delivering a physics class lecture. She was talking about the importance of water, that our body is made up of a certain percentage of water that will die if we do not drink water for a certain number of days. Well, we all know this information, don't we? And you can imagine that half of the audience was bored. Okay? So, make sure you don't choose a theme that's too broad, too narrow, too shallow. A contest quality speech, on the other hand, will not make any of these mistakes. First, they choose the right theme. But before they decide on what theme they're going to use, they first know what the target audience is, who they are, what's the age, what's the gender, right? what's the interest if possible. And then you brainstorm your topics, 
and then you choose the right topic that's suitable for the audience as well as you're passionate to talk on. Second, you have a very focused theme. You don't branch off to the different subtopics. And how do you avoid branching off unconsciously? You see, it happened to me before. I was talking about greed, but then unconsciously, I branch off to a different subtopic, give and take. At the end of the speech, the audience response, uh, a comment to me was, Arthur, what were you talking about? Were you talking about greed, or were you talking about give and take? And it confused the audience. So, in order to fall into that trap, it's very easy. Just try to summarize your speech after you have written it down, and see if you can condense it into three or five sentences. If you cannot do that, that means you have too many things in your speech. And it's time to go back to your drawing board to trim it down. Okay? The second thing that a good contest quality speech would not make a mistake on is to choose the right theme, as I mentioned a while ago. When you choose the right theme, especially for the contest, try to leave your audience in an upbeat mode. Do not talk about the sad things. Try to lift up the audience. So talk about things that inspires, that motivates, that persuades. Right? These are the things that would leave the audience in an upbeat mode. So talk about, for example, your ambition. Right? Uh, how you conquer challenges in your life. What you learn from your little brothers or sisters or even from your pet. So try to leave your audience in an upbeat mode. And don't talk about things that's too common, too shallow, too broad. Now, if you don't have anything else to say and you have to talk about something that's very common, what do you do? Go deep down into a certain niche topic. I've heard that someone talk about the same topic, water. That's true. But instead of talking about the common information, he talked about, he, he went deep, right? He talked about the molecular structure of water, how it reacts to the environment. Yes, that more water molecules behave as in a different way when the environment is bright, is happy, is in a, happy, is a good mood, which is healthy for our body. And that water molecules behave in a negative way when the environment is sad, is dim, is low, which is bad for our body. So in that speech, Although the topic is very common, but I learned a lot from that speech. All right? So, make sure you choose a good theme that has, that's right for the audience, that is focused, and that is not broad and shallow. Next. Now that we have a theme, what's next? 